Good evening, everyone. This is Eurovision 2020, the grand final. I know you would expect a, a big stage, but we've got some budget cuts. And also, I've got to follow the rules, you know, quarantine and everything. Let the show begin. You and those little high-waisted shorts. Oh. These are the countries that qualified to the final. What I think is missing are some chains. You know, the girl is saying, I'm gonna put chains on chains on you, but she never does. We can all guess where all the toilet paper disappeared. Azerbaijan, people don't have toilet paper. Mm -mm -mm. And not nice Azerbaijan. She has a day job and a night job. During the day, she's like a professional lady, you know, serious. Mm -hmm -hmm. During the night, she's doing the dirty business. Look, sir, I can understand your love for the Eiffel Tower, but maybe you should avoid the part with uh, you are the best in me. It's a bit too big for you, sir. is the only one smart here. They've got the masks, they got the disinfectant spray. Honestly, I don't even know why Eurovision 2020 got cancelled. After Iceland, Latvia plays again. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to disinfect. And Eurovision 2020 will not even need to be cancelled. <laughs> EBU, I'm disappointed in you. Can you imagine how wonderful this would look? Lithuania, you know, the guy with that dance and he's like, spray, 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 spray. I think that would be brilliant. There are like the normal performances and then what fair in the back, those girls. EBU, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> Magnifying glass means how society is actually looking at you, other people scrutinizing you for doing your own thing. And during the la 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 part, the part with the magnifying glass on the lips, it actually means uh, society and people talking and gossiping behind your back. We search for ourselves in the reflection of other people's opinions. And when the singer and the dancers start to have different moves, what this means is like he's saying, screw this, I'm gonna do my own thing. This is so nice how they can actually portray all this beautiful idea for this performance. Lithuania for this deserves my applause. Come to where? Excuse yourself, come to where, sir? Mm-hmm. No, 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 maybe you come to mommy. Mm-hmm. 
Disrespectful. <laughs> this guy looks like I'm gonna hit him right now. Even I'm gonna take a pen to his heart. <laughs> Wait, really? How do you expect, sir, to get a lady with that look? Mm, on your face. Mm -mm, okay. Mm -mm, be more seductive. Mm -hmm. Like detective, not just Nicoletta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little big, little big, 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 big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, who doesn't like it big? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spain is the winner of Eurovision 2020. <laughs> uh, no. Spain didn't get sad that Eurovision 2020 got cancelled. They actually made their own Eurovision. Mm -hmm. And people could vote. And guess who was the winner? It was Spain itself. I think this is a very good example why uh, you cannot vote for your own country at Eurovision. Because things like this happen, you know? Yeah, each country is just proclaiming their own winner. meantime we are gonna have a special guest mm -hmm -hmm. hi guys so today so we have uh, as i told you we have the special guest this is jessica <laughs> she came from really far away which is uh the next room yeah yeah so <laughs> far away <laughs> she's gonna be in the center of attention today wow so please applause for jessica yay <laughs> Okay, we decided that we're gonna sing Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. Yeah, I would wish I had the the Neighborhood uh, sweater, but uh, it's still good, you know? Yeah, it's so you good. You see, we're even dressed in sweaters, you know, for the weather. That was a good one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to be as sexy as possible. Yeah, be sexy, sexy. Ah. Okay. I'm getting in the mood of sexiness. <laughs> and all I am is a man i want the world in my hands i hate the beach but i stand in california with my toes in the sand use the sleeves on my sweater let's have an adventure head in the clouds but my gravity centered touch my neck and i'll touch yours you and those little high waisted shorts oh she knows what i think about and what i think about one love two mouths one love one house no shirt no blouse just as you find out nothing that i really want to tell you about no because it's too cold oh for you here and now so let me hold, hold both your hands in the holes of my sweater and if i may just take your breath away i don't mind if it's not much to say sometimes the silence cuts in mind to move to a place so far away yeah the goosebumps start to race the minute that my left hand me to waste and then I watch your face, put my finger on your tongue, cause you love the taste, yeah. This heart to door, how the winner have the beats hardest for. Inside this place is warm, outside it starts to pour. Coming down, one love, two mouths, one love, one house. No shirt, no blouse, just us to find out. Nothing that I really want to tell you about. No, 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 it's too cold oh, for you here. And now, so let me hold, hold both your hands in the holes of my sweater. Yes! Yes! Jessica! Jessica! Oh, Jessica! <laughs> yes! Everyone was a 
an awesome teamwork. <laughs> yes, I am. Proud. Oh, sorry, I have some mistake. Yes, <laughs> we did it, guys. We won the Eurovision. Yeah, we are the actual <laughs> winners of Eurovision 2020. Who is the winner of Eurovision 2020? Sixth place is Georgia. Fifth place is Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Fourth place, Switzerland. It's getting hot in here. Now we've got three countries that have the chance to win Eurovision 2020. Third place, Russia. Lithuania or Iceland? Who is the winner of Eurovision 2020? The winner of Eurovision 2020 is Iceland. Yes. Yeah, 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 applause. And the prize for the winner is this amazing does in fact in gel. It's more expensive than you think, especially during this time. Not because we don't have money. No, 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 no. Mm, 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 mm. Because first of all, our main priority is the health of our contestants. Mm -hmm. It's not some glossy award. The Eurovision Song Contest trophy, designed by Swarovski. It's crystal. Not glass. This is fun. But this, this is fun. beautiful sculpture. It has. I don't want to, to anticipate it, but this is great fun. All night long. Watch. And then finally be given to oh, the winning come on. song. Oh, let's see. Oh. Don't forget to press that sexy red button. I hope guys you really enjoyed this video and see you next time. Hi guys, in this part of the video I'm gonna explain to you how exactly did I calculate which countries qualified to the final and also later on I'm gonna show to you how I calculated the final final results. But first of all, let's get straight to business. <laughs> In order to find out who qualified to the final, I used the score from the official side of Eurovision. Mm -hmm, this is serious, guys, okay? So listen up, listen, okay? <laughs> Talking like I would think no one would. <laughs> no one would listen to this, okay, whatever. I used the, the score from the official site of Eurovision, which is EurovisionWorld.com. <laughs> yeah, and also, and also the percentage of YouTube likes <laughs> for each video. So I am using a browser extension for Chrome that calculates this automatically for me. The first three pictures that are on the top are taken from the official site of Eurovision and you can see the score here with the stars and also the number of ratings. So for example, Russia has 4.1 stars and 7,326. Guys, prepare yourself to see some goofy transitions. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. In the first step, I just copied pasted everything from the official site of Eurovision and I just added in this table. The number of stars represent the quality of the song and how much people actually like the song. Mm -hmm. Then the number of ratings represent the popularity of the song and then the percentage of YouTube likes is just another measurement to show how much people like it. Mm -hmm. In order to calculate this easier, I just used Excel because it makes more sense than just doing this everything by myself. Three different columns, YouTube likes, stars, and number of ratings. The stars and the number of ratings are taken from the official site of EurovisionWorld.com. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I just multiplied the number of YouTube likes with the number of stars and the number of ratings for each 
country separately. However, on Excel, you can do this in seconds. You can also verify for yourself if you want. For example, you multiply 0.86, you multiply with 3.7, and then you multiply with 1881. And then you get the number 5985.342. Now, pay attention to the number that we got in the multiplication column because this is what we're going to use in order to find out who qualified to the final. Mm -hmm. I just made two tables, you know, I added the countries that participate in each of the semifinals and then the score from the multiplication column. The first 10 countries qualify. However, guys, please don't hate me for this, but I kind of felt really bad that Malta did not qualify and I looked which of these songs I see having a lower chance to qualify and honestly, I, Belgium has a really good song, but doesn't seem to pop and grab your attention. I guess you can cut me some slack for making these calculations. Eh. <laughs> I mean, guys, I'm from Moldova, and as you can see in the second semifinal, it did not qualify. It did not pass, so I really don't care which country qualifies. The song and performance are what matters for me. I really like Malta, and... I really felt bad for a song this good to not be able to qualify to the final. Mm -hmm. We're adding some extra stuff in here, okay? We're adding the betting odds, which country has a higher chance, you know, to win the Eurovision. So a smaller number, for example, you have here, you have Bulgaria has 6.4, means you have higher chances to win. Compare these to Slovenia here, which has 800, so 1 to 800 chance to win. In the score column is just the previous result. From the previous calculation and then I just made a new column called bid for exchange which I just copied pasted the number for each country you can also check it for yourself I also showed the source for the betting odds then what I did I used division since we're ordering from higher number to lower number in, in this case as you can see if you have a higher chance to win you have a smaller number so it makes more sense to divide and I also used Betfair Exchange mainly because the other bookmakers, the last 10 or 15 positions, they have the same number, which is like 100 or 200. And we want to see as much, as more diversity as possible. So actually we can get some interesting, some juicy results here. I divided the number of likes and dislikes on YouTube. If you look for Lithuania, divide 122 by 9, you get 13.6. If you also look for Israel, you can also see 31 divided by 3.1, you get 10. And this is what I added in the likes divided by dislikes column. Then you get to the final score. So I just approximated these numbers and this is the final scoreboard ladies and gentlemen however let's not forget that i am making this video okay <laughs> you know guys since i'm making this video i was thinking that maybe i can have the right to change the position of free countries and what i mean here is only if i think the country deserves a higher position because otherwise i mean what's the point of making all these calculations from all these countries i think ukraine deserves a way better place that's why i added ukraine on the fifth place between iceland and lithuania it was a really tough choice for me because i think both of these countries are worth getting the first place i like both performances but if i would try to compare the song from iceland and the one from lithuania I find myself more connected with the song from Iceland. These are just the numbers that I used. I really tried my best to make this as accurate as possible. Since I made this video, I also wanted to bring something of myself. I didn't want just to show you some calculations, but I also wanted to show you my opinion and perspective on all this. In the real situation, if any of these countries like Iceland, Lithuania would win, I would really not mind. I see Russia being the first one in the public vote, but the jury vote most probably is gonna give a lower score, which is gonna make it get the second or third place. 